In this series, we'll discuss the half-reaction method of balancing aqueous redox equations in acidic solutions. Let's begin with the first question. Balance the redox equation shown underneath. We have aluminum in its solid state plus copper 2 plus, and this forms aluminum 3 plus in addition to solid copper. The first thing that we want to do is assign oxidation states to all the atoms and identify the substances being oxidized and reduced. Let's begin with aluminum. Notice that aluminum is a solid, so its oxidation state is zero, and so is this one. Aluminum goes from solid aluminum to this cation, aluminum 3 plus. It is becoming positive, so it's losing electrons. When an atom loses an electron, then it's being oxidized. So the relationship between these two is oxidation. This one is going from being positive to an oxidation state of zero. That means it's gaining electrons. When that happens, we have a reduction. An easy way to remember is this acronym, OIL RIG, where oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. So step number one is done. Step two is to separate the overall reaction into two half reactions, one for the oxidation and one for the reduction. So we go from aluminum, solid, forming aluminum 3 plus aqueous. We said that was the oxidation, so I'll write down O. And the reduction reaction was copper 2 plus aqueous forming solid copper. We have to do two sets of balancing. The first balancing that we have to do with these equations is with respect to the mass in the following order. We balance all elements other than H and O. So luckily we don't have any H's and O's here and it's balanced on both sides of both of these equations. For future reference, keep in mind to balance oxygen by adding water molecules and balance hydrogen by adding H plus ions. We don't have to worry about that here. The second form of balancing has to do with the charges. Notice that we have an imbalance of charges. We have three plus here and zero here. So I'll add three electrons. That way both sides are zero. Over here we have two plus and zero here. So I'll add two electrons here. Now it's balanced both in mass and in charge. The next step is make the number of electrons in both half reactions equal by multiplying one or both half reactions by a small whole number. In other words, we're trying to find the common multiple between the amount of electrons here and the amount of electrons here. We have three here, two here. They will both meet at six at some point. That's the common multiple. Think of all the multiples of three and two. We have three, six, this one is four, six. They'll meet at six. That being said, I'll multiply this thing by two and this equation by three. By doing that, this becomes a two, two, and that becomes a six. This becomes a six. Notice the electrons are the same. That has a coefficient of three. I apologize for the mess. And that has a coefficient of three. Step six involves adding the two half reactions together and canceling electrons and other species as necessary. I'll show my work over here. So since we have a six in the products here and a six electrons in the reactants here, they can cancel out. Otherwise, we end up with two aluminum plus the reactants here. We had three copper th two plus. And this formed all the products. Two aluminum three plus aqueous state plus three copper solid. Now that we're done, you can verify that the reaction is balanced with respect to both the mass and the charge, but that's strictly up to you. If you've done this correctly, you don't need to do that last step. And that right there represents the answer to question one. If you'd like to see the answer to question two, where we balance this brand new reaction, having hydrogen atoms, make sure that you watch question two of this series where we cover its solution.